Hi, friends. So I want to tap on something that is quite personal to me, and I'm sure it will be to you too. And that is recreating secure attachment. How about that? <laughs> I do believe that at some point in our lives, we have experienced secure attachment. But for those of us who have disorganized, avoidant, or just insecure attachment patterns, anxious attachment, right? Same kind of same slice of the pie. <laughs> it can actually feel really uncomfortable to be in a space of secure attachment. So let's just like play with this. We'll invite the feelings of secure attachment and trust in and well, yeah, we'll tap it out. We're going to see what comes to the surface. Okay. So let's take a big breath in and just relax into the body first. I do recommend that you feel your feet on the ground, your booty in the chair, your spine stacking, your head on a comfy little swivel on top. Ah, and let's start tapping on the side of the hand. I'm not even sure I know what secure attachment feels like. I've been through so many shitty relationships. I've kissed hella frogs. Just ask my friends. And I know that I don't need to keep putting myself in those situations to feel safe. Even though it scares me to feel securely attached to someone I know that that's the direction I want to move in. And I know that I'm not bad or wrong for having disorganized, insecure, or avoidant attachment. This is simply how my inner child wanted and needed to protect me. I'm not bad or wrong for having endured trauma. And now I have all of these incredible tools and oh, so much wisdom embodied to work through this. So even though in the past, Healthy and secure relationships have felt like a fucking fairy tale. I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I'm tuning in to what it could feel like. to be securely attached. To be in a healthy relationship that isn't codependent. There is no abuse physically, mentally, or emotionally. And to recognize that we're both human Sometimes my little alarm bells go off really easily.
And I'm going to take a deep breath in the next time that I feel those alarm bells being triggered. And I'm going to tune in with my inner wisdom. Because even though in the past I have been hurt, I deeply and completely trust myself now. Okay, that was big. Take a deep breath in, hold it at the top. And when you're ready, exhale and let it go. I'm yawning. That means I'm getting myself. <laughs> so just know you're not alone if you're also feeling the things coming up. Mm. And when you're ready, let's start at the top of the head and we're going to tap through the points and just recode what a healthy, safe, secure feeling relationship might be like. All right, here we go. There's a part of me that doesn't believe I could have a secure relationship. Especially when it comes to romantic relationships. And I see that this is because I just haven't experienced it yet. I see it's because it hasn't been modeled for me in my family system. So, of course, I don't even know what it might be like. And so, of course, I keep going for the places and spaces where I'm going to get hurt in the ways that I already know how to deal with. And now that I see this pattern, I can't unsee it. And it is time to pivot and start imagining what a healthy, securely attached relationship looks like. I want to feel relaxed in romantic relationship. I want to feel safe and able to speak for my needs and be received 80% of the time. I want to have a partner who turns towards me and leans in especially when there's a difficult conversation afoot. I want to be in relationship with someone who is growing and learning on pace with me. I want a partner who I would expect a healthy breakup with if it ever came to that. I am looking for romantic relations that feel lush and unrushed. I am looking to be in partnership with someone 
who makes my nervous system feel relaxed and at ease. And I am recognizing myself today for doing the work to even know what that feels like. So even though in the past, I thought that relationships had to feel stressful and heart throbbing and butterfly inducing. I completely love, accept and forgive myself. And I affirm that I'm not bad or wrong or stupid for believing any of that. I grew up on rom-coms in Disney. What was I supposed to think? <sighs> I am ready to invite in delicious growth oriented love. I am inviting in relationships where I feel safe enough to be triggered. And to say, I feel triggered <laughs> and not be punished for it. Hello, I am calling in a relationship with matching emotional intelligence. I am calling in partnership that feels securely attached. And the part of me that wants to run from all of this, I deeply love, accept, and forgive. And I'm going to hold it like a little baby in my arms. And remind her that she can trust me. That I can't guarantee we won't get hurt, but I can guarantee we'll make it. Because the truth is, I do my best growing in the reflection of relationships. And so if I'm pushing them all away, I won't be able to receive that healing. All those lessons I learned in my past all of the growth and work that I've done to feel regulated and relaxed alone is inseparable from who I am today. And so I trust myself to choose people to get close to that feel great to be around. It's safe for me to feel secure. It is safe for me to feel secure in relationships. It is safe for me to start leaning into secure attachments.
And I'm going to start looking for the pearls in all of these relationships. I'm going to start taking notes of all of the ways that I'm grateful for the people who I can really trust. And let all of those values be my compass. I'll use them like a little radar. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> And I no longer have to choose people that are inappropriate for me. Just to get some kind of a rush. Just to affirm a pattern of stinking thinking and unworthiness. I am showing up in my wholeness to every relationship in my life right now. I am showing up secure and confident in all of my relationships today. And as I invite this into all of my interactions all day long, ooh, I am going to magnetize the perfect romantic partners towards me. And so it is. Okay, take a deep breath in. Hold it at the top. And let her go. I hope that felt good for you. Oh, and I wish you all of the ease and joy and renewed trust on your path to discovering delicious, healthy, securely attached relationships. And I know this is not like a one day poof, everything has changed journey. There is still learning to be done. There are still old patterns to unwind. And if you are wanting to feel deeper connection and to call in those perfect partners for yourselves, please don't hesitate to reach out. I would love to work with you. Mwah.